Hi everybody, it's Stacy at Scrap Mania, and um, I did a video a couple days ago on this, but it wasn't my best video and I accidentally deleted it already, so um, I'm going to redo a video about an album that I made um, at the retreat house this weekend, or not the retreat house, at the retreat um, at the hotel in Mount Vernon that I went to this weekend. Um, so this is the Hello Fall collection. This is a new Cartabella line. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got a sticker sheet in there that is super cute, and then it's got, I believe, 12 papers. Uh, yes, 12 double-sided papers. So, as you can see, the papers are just super, super cute. Um, beautiful colors on them. And this is an album that I made using um, the kit this weekend. So, I will show you this here in just a second. This is what the album is, is it actually comes already made. It's a Heartfelt Creations book. It's only got five pages in it. Um, five pages doesn't sound like enough to make a scrapbook album, but it totally is. Because wait till I show you uh, what I did inside. Um, there are little inserts and slips and folds and things uh, like this that are also from Heartfelt Creations. And this is one that has uh, six different items and it's got pockets and envelope tags and things like that. So. Heartfelt Creations is the album. These are the little inserts and there's different ones of these. Um, I use two different packs. Uh, we do have a list at Scrap Mania showing you exactly what I used that will be tucked inside the book if you want to stop in and uh, take a peek at that. But I highly, highly recommend this uh, collection. It is absolutely stunning. Sorry, I'm outside and the wind blew some of my cards. Um, so what I did was I made an album. This is what it looks like. This is my cover. Uh, my side and my back piece. Um, any of my chipboard, it is a uh, sticker chipboard, but I do glue it on just to be secure, especially on here because it's a uh, material. It's not just gluing onto paper, not just sticking onto paper. So super cute. I also inked all of my edges in a brown ink. Um, so any paper that you've seen that in the book and even some of my uh, the book itself If you look real closely, there's a real thin brown inking on everything that includes my stickers my chipboard anything that I used at all So here is the first example. This is page one and this is one of those pockets um, From the heartfelt creations so you can see they've got pockets going each way here up at the top and um, so this is one of those and all I do is I trace it, set it down, trace it on my paper, and then I cut it just inside the line. Um, that way I've got a little bit of um, edge around the item. And it's not perfect if you look closely, but nobody's gonna be looking closely, so it is absolutely good enough in my opinion. Um, so this makes a cute little pocket. You can stick photos and things on, um, on your uh, four by six cards, or you can just stick photos in there by themselves. Um, I've added some of the enamel accent stickers and um, the flat stickers on there. We've got some uh, more enamel accents over here as well as the flat. This is one of the 4x6 cut aparts. That's what a lot of these are too, is uh, the 4x6 cut aparts that are in the kit. Here is some more of those Heartfelt Creations flips and folds. So it is double sided, I decorated both sides. I put some chipboard embellishments on there. Um, this is why I said it is, um, even though it's only five pages long, you've got so much of this that it really adds a lot to the book and gives you lots of added space. Um, and these up here are actually some pockets too. So I've got little tags tucked in there. You could put some extra pictures in there. They are double sided, super cute, easy just tuck away in there. I do have some magnetic closures. I stuck some magnets under my paper and that kind of holds things in place. You can hear them, um, but they're just thin magnets. Uh, they're made by Basic Gray. I sell them here at the store. So if I flip this up, these are some snap photo flips. And this is another way just to add pictures uh, and get more space out of just this five page album. So those are fun. This is in a little pocket that has, that will hold a tag inside. Sorry, didn't know, if, didn't realize I wasn't showing you that. So you can put pictures or journaling on any of this and then it slides back in there and this has a magnetic closure also. Here's some more of those photo flips and these are the four by four size. These come in two by three, four by four and four by six. And we also have a variety pack. Um, and I just love those, they make it so easy. Um, here is two different pockets. 
and those are in the same kit here. Uh, you have a tall pocket and a short pocket, and all I did was put those on the same page, and I've got little tags and things sticking in my pocket. And again, you can put pictures on any of these, or you can just put the pictures directly into the pockets. Same thing over here. Here's another pocket with a bunch of embellishments. But this paper is just stunning. And I threw this together. I believe I started it on Friday, finished it on Saturday, because when you're in love with the paper, it makes it so much easier. And this is just stunning. This one might be a little hard for me to open one-handed and backwards. So let's see here. I've got this all secured by magnets also. I think this opens one more time. This is another one of those flips and folds from Heartfelt Creations. And like I said, I've got magnets securing everything. Oops, I closed it wrong. So it goes like that. And then here's some more of the 4x6 flips with some stickers underneath. Just truly, truly beautiful paper. One of my favorites from um, Cartabella for the fall time. They do have another line from Echo Park also that is super cute. Um, I don't remember the name of that one. Perfect Autumn, I think, something like that. So these open up and these are uh, have a magnetic closure as well. Here's another one here. Look at those pretty trees. Such pretty, pretty paper. And then here is towards the end of my album and then there's the back um, another good thing is I okay I used two of these kits um, so quite a bit of paper but I had so much extra left over from scraps um, I did not use I think I used two or three sheets of solid brown in the album but otherwise I did not use any solid cardstock at all I just used the pattern paper which usually I like to uh, combine the two but this one I just love the pattern so much I was just thrilled and just kept using it um, because of that, I had a lot of leftover scraps. Um, so I'm not usually a card maker, but look, I made some cards. So let me show you what those look like. Um, this is just says thankful for you, and it's got the chipboard and the flat stickers and just some extra paper. There is a little truck. Some of these I didn't put anything on the inside. Um, cute little fox. And some of them I just had some extra stuff. I kind of ran out of time, otherwise I would have got more done and added some more embellishments and some more things on the inside. But isn't that fun? And I am not a very good stamper, but look it, I didn't stamp any of this. It was just paper that I just had to stick some adhesive on and stick down or add some stickers to. On the cards I did ink my edges also, just like in my album, but super easy. You can totally do this. If I can do it, you can do it. Um, you come in and take pictures of the album, take pictures of the cards, um, and grab this Cardabella line because it is gorgeous and we've got lots more in there from Cardabella and other great lines too, and uh, more on the way. So we're open every day at 10 a.m. We hope to see you soon, 319-377-9999, and we are currently located at 224 Collins Road Northeast in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and we hope to see you soon. Have a great day, crafters.